black smoke rises and flames rage from a Russian bombed apartment building in the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv. A lethal air attack destroying the homes of civilians. In Mariupol, people are living in hell. And situation in Mariupol are catastrophic. In the besieged city of Mariupol, the deputy mayor says people are being held captive. The Russian army use uh, doctors and patients as a hostages in this building, so we do not have any access to them. And uh, of course, it's uh, war crime in any way. As war rages across Ukraine, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky is issuing a new call to close the skies over the country. Can you imagine when you call your friends, your friendly nation, and you ask, please close the sky, close the airspace, please stop the bombing? How many more missiles have to fall on our cities until you make this happen? The White House says it still does not support a no-fly zone over Ukraine and has announced President Biden will join NATO world leaders in Brussels, Belgium next week for an extraordinary meeting and show of U.S. support for Ukraine. We're moving urgently to further augment the support to the brave people of Ukraine as they defend their country. I'm Cole Higgins reporting.